Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very, very interesting question from algebra. We have to solve one quartic equation x power 4 minus 11x square minus 18x minus 8 equal to 0. I will be solving this question in two ways. So let me write here method number 1. In this method, I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So I need to know the eligible factors of constant. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4 and plus minus 8. If I will find eligible factors for leading coefficient, so I can write here plus minus 1. Now we have to consider the ratio of constant to leading coefficient. In this series, if I will plug in x equal to 1, Will it satisfy our quadratic equation? Let's check. 1 minus 11 minus 18 minus 8. No, it won't. Let's plug in x equal to negative 1. So I will write here 1 minus 11 plus 18 minus 8. So this time it is satisfying our equation. 19 minus 19 is 0. So we can conclude x equal to minus 1 is our base solution. Now we will use synthetic division method. In this method we need to write all the coefficients of quartic equation. So coefficient of x power 4 is 1. Coefficient of x cube is missing so 0. Coefficient of x square is minus 11. Coefficient of x minus 18 constant minus 8. Now we will write our leading coefficient 1 as it is. Now we have to multiply these two numbers. Base solution with this leading coefficient. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Once we will add these two, we will get minus 1. Again we will multiply minus 1 with minus 1, we will get plus 1. We have to add these two numbers, we will get minus 10. Minus 1 times minus 10 is 10. After addition, we will get minus 8 here. Minus 1 times minus 8 is 8. Once we will add these two numbers, we will get 0. So these are coefficients for cubic equation. If I will write, I can write x cube minus x square minus 10x minus 8 equal to 0. Let me write equation here x cube minus x square minus 10x minus 8 equal to 0. Again, we can say the leading coefficient term is 1. So, coefficient factors would be plus minus 1. The constant is 8. We will get plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. So, let us plug in x equal to 1 directly. We will get 1 minus 1 minus 10, minus 8. Will it satisfy? No. Again, we will put x equal to minus 1 to this cubic equation. I can write here minus 1, minus 1, plus 10, minus 8. So, 10 minus 10 is 0. x equal to minus 1 is our base solution to this cubic equation. Now, I will use synthetic division method. I need to write all the coefficients of cubic equation. I will write 1, minus 1, minus 10 and constant minus 8. Leading coefficient we will write 1 as it is. Now we have to multiply these two. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1. Addition of these two will give us minus 2. Minus 1 times minus 2 is 2. Once we will add these two, we will get minus 8. Minus 1 times minus 8 is plus 8. Addition will give us 0. So here we have coefficients for quadratic equation. I can write equation as x square minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. Now we can use quadratic formula or we can use method of factorization. Let's solve x square minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. 
let's use quadratic formula x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a as per our equation a is 1 b is negative 2 and c is negative 8 so we will get x equal to i will write minus of minus 2 is plus 2 plus minus the square root of minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 8 divided by 2 times 1 or i can write 2 plus minus the square root of 4 plus 32 over 2 or I can write 2 plus minus square root 36 over 2. This will give us 2 plus minus square root 36 is 6 divided by 2. So x will be equal to 2 plus 6 over 2 which is 8 over 2 I will write 4. 2 minus 6 is minus 4 over 2 is minus 2. So we have x equal to 4 x equal to minus 2. The first base solution was x equal to negative 1 and the second base solution was x equal to negative 1. So we can say x equal to negative 1 with multiplicity 2. Multiplicity 2. So minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, 4. Now we will take our method number 2. method number 2. In this method, I will write our equation first. x power 4 minus 11x square minus 18x minus 8 equal to 0. If I will plug in x equal to minus 1 to this equation. So, if I will plug in, I will get 1 minus 11 plus 18 minus 8. So, 19 minus 19. So, I can see x equal to minus 1 is satisfying this equation or x plus 1 is one factor to this equation. Keeping this thing in mind, I will split minus 8 as minus 1 minus 7. So, I can write our equation x power 4 minus 1 minus 11x square minus 18x minus 7 equal to 0. Or I can write x power 4 minus 1. Minus is common. In the bracket 11x square plus 18x plus 7 equal to 0. Now I can see 11 times 7 is 77. And 11 plus 7 is 18. Here I will write x power 4 as x square whole square minus 1 whole square minus I will split 18x as 11x plus 7x then we have plus 7 equal to 0. Let's apply difference of two squares formula. So I can write here x square plus 1 times x square minus 1 minus I will consider 11x common from first two terms. So in the bracket we will get x plus 1 and 7 common from last two. We will write x plus 1 in the bracket. RHS is 0. Or I can write x square plus 1 times x square minus 1 minus x plus 1 times 11x plus 7 equal to 0. Now I will take x plus 1 common out. But here we are not having x plus 1. So we will apply difference of two squares formula once again. Let us apply. So I will write x square plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 minus x plus 1 times 11x plus 7 
equal to 0. Now we can take x plus 1 common out. So I will write here x plus 1. In other bracket, we will get x square plus 1 times x minus 1 minus 11x plus 7 equal to 0. Or I can write x plus 1. Here we have to simplify. We will write x cube minus x square plus x minus 11x minus 10x minus 1 minus 7 minus 8 equal to 0. Now we will factorize our cubic bracket separately. Or here also we can simplify. If I will check this cubic expression at x equal to negative 1. So I will be getting minus 1 minus 1 plus 10 minus 8. So this is satisfying our equation. So I can say x plus 1 is one factor to this cubic equation. So keeping this thing in our mind, I will split minus 8 as minus 9 plus 1. Let me write here x cube minus x square minus 10x minus 8. Now I will split minus 8 as minus 9 plus 1. So I can write x cube plus 1 here. Then minus x square minus 10x and minus 9. Now I will apply a q plus b q formula here. We will write x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1. Then we will take minus common. Here I will get x square plus 10x plus 9. Or we can write x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 minus. Here I will simplify. I will factorize. So I will write here x square. 10x we can write here x plus 9x. Then we have 9. So from first two terms I can take x common in the bracket. We will write x plus 1. From last two terms I can take 9 common. So in the bracket I will write x plus 1. So finally x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 minus x plus 1 times x plus 9. Now we will take x plus 1 common out. In other bracket we will get x square minus x plus 1 and then we will write minus x minus 9. So factorization of this cubic expression would be x plus 1 times x square minus 2x minus 8. Now we will write over there. So I can write here x plus 1 and then the cubic expression was x cubed minus x square minus 10x minus 8 equal to 0. Let us put the value of factorization. I will write here x plus 1 times x square minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0. I will write here x plus 1 whole square and then we can factorize here. We can write x square minus 2x can be written as minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 equal to 0 or x plus 1 whole square x square minus 4x. I can take x common. So in the bracket I can write x minus 4. From here I will take 2 common in the bracket. We can write x minus 4 equal to 0. Or we can write x plus 1 whole square. Here I will take x minus 4 common out. So in other bracket we will write x plus 2 equal to 0 or I will write x plus 2 
times x minus 4 times x plus 1 whole square equal to 0. Now we will write our final answer. Once we will apply product 0 rule, we will be getting x equal to negative 2, x equal to 4, x equal to minus 1, minus 1 or minus 1 with multiplicity 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.